Hello again. In my last video we learned how to make a 90 degree elbow lobster back. In this video we're learning how to make the counterpart, the throat, for the lobster back. This is the throat, as you can see. It's 90 degrees. It's made in three parts. We have a starter, a segment and a finisher and it is fastened on both sides with rivets. It's got a number two swage, as you can see it's very strong. See that? Very strong. Right, let's move that away. Let's get started. As you can see this is the back here and now we're going to make the uh, throat. So we just cover that up. As always, we need to draw a centre line. So we'll just draw a centre line down here. Like we need to set our dividers up again to this measurement here. We don't need to um, check that because we, we already did. So we need, again up this line here, we need to put in seven divisions. So seven lines, here we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, and in the last video we used 30mm for lap so we will again for this so we open our dividers up to 30mm there we go and that's before we place that at the ends And the same again, we need to draw these lines in. Again. We need to label these again. One, two, three, and four. Now, the throat part of the bend is from the middle to here, and we're going to take that up through to this and put another swage line in there which, as I said before, we're using the number two swage, we got about three, <coughs> three and a half mil, an eighth of an inch to do that. We just draw the line in like that. That's our swage tolerance. And now we need to extend all these lines here to that. And let's get started. Start the 
this one again <coughs> from the middle. So we go into the middle here, to the outside, and we put that in at line number one. these out as well so that's two three and four so that's number one we go to line number two place that in there And similarly, number three. And finally, four. Now all we need to do is just join all those together as before we first start out we take that out to the lap line. So we just start there doing the marker pen again so you can see what's going on. And on the last one again, we take that out to the lap line on the uh, same on the other side. straight out again to the lap line. And there we have it. And again the same as when we made the back you put the holes in on line number one, close to the edge, usually about two mil. I'm just going to put a dot in just so you know that that's where they are. Normally you'd cut it out and then uh, mark it on with dividers. So there we have it. That is the throat template. This template you would have a starter and a finisher and one segment. So that, that would make here that is the segment and to make a starter you'd use half the pattern so it would be around here, there and there and then straight down here to make your starter and your finisher. All you need to do now is cut it out, place it on some sheet metal. When you've done that, cut that out, put it through the slip rollers and then put your swage on and you'd swage along here with a female swage and along this side with a male swage and like it's the same all the way through starter, finisher and the rest of the segments and when you've got them together you can put them together and you will end up with this a perfect 90 degree 
throat. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video and share it. Thank you very much and goodbye until next time. Thank you. Bye.